Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you for tuning in. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say thank you, I genuinely mean it. I really do. And when I say subscribe, it's not for my sake, it's for your own. See, I post daily videos updating you guys every single day on the newest, latest, freshest, most up-to-date, recent information in the world of precious metals. I'm going to keep doing that. A lot's happening, but a lot more is going to happen that's affecting the price of silver, and you will always be kept in the loop. Now, this video is serious, very serious. This all started when I made the video talking about Elon Musk yesterday and how much silver he's going to need with his companies like SpaceX, Tesla. And if he's not buying massive amounts of silver right now, how screwed he would be because silver's at $25 right now. So he could be getting it for a fairly good price, especially if he's in with, you know, with, with a retailer, a, a, a source. But if he's not in silver gets to 50, a hundred dollars, he would be paying billions of dollars more. Mike Maloney actually did the math. He put his 2030 sales goal it would be around $780 million you'd have to pay in silver. And if he doesn't, waiting for silver to get to $100, it would be $3.14 billion. And I showed that, that article or that tweet he wrote Elon Musk in the video if you want to check it out. But anyways, it got deeper though. Because it's not just Elon Musk if you want the newest, latest Tesla to come out. Think about the new Green Deal. Think about Joe Biden's plan. Think about solar panels. Think about 5G towers. Think about every other automobile company that's supposed to be switching to EV by 2030. The guy in the article said, said, it is silly to think that this is a possible realistic feat. He said that everyone that actually thinks the new, the new Green Deal is going to happen is, is delusional. And when he said that, it really did hit home. Because I've talked about before, you know, if you want the newest, latest iPhone to come out, you better hope that they find silver or whatever. You know, if you want a, the newest, latest test, blah, blah, blah. But the way he put it is there's, there, there's no chance that, that any of this will happen. There's just not enough silver. And I've covered the below ground supply versus the above ground supply versus global demand and all that, or global supply and... By 2030, we literally will not have any more silver. Gold is like five years after. I made an entire video showing every single precious metal and, and, and all that and when we will run out of it. Silver was the soonest. But looking forwards, when the years 2023, 2024, when everything is, is in full flight, full effect, when and everything is going to be you know pushing forwards, when we're going to need the most silver, is really when the silver shortage is going to start really dropping. So do you think that the Green New Deal is, is realistic? Because if you look at the numbers, it's not. But what would happen? Because we're talking about a global, this is a global project. It's not just the United States and Joe Biden. This is global. So what would happen? Yes, we all, you know, we all get a pretty penny, but what would what what could possibly happen if we can't do the new green deal because of silver and specifically because of silver and when people find out that it's because of silver because there's a silver shortage when people start seeing the price of silver rising because we can't fulfill these projects and these promises from our president that itself could push silver to astronomically high levels. Not even talking about the dollar index or any of that stuff. Just people finding out that the reason we cannot save the planet is because of silver. Because we don't have enough of it. And then we could go into the topic of, you know, space mining. There's an asteroid coming towards Earth that arrives around 2026. It's called Psych-16. It has $500 quintillion worth of precious metals on it. And if they can mine that asteroid, which NASA is actually spending out, uh, sending out a rover um, in 2022. I made an entire video about this as well, like a docu-series on my channel. But NASA is sending out uh, a satellite or whatever to go check this asteroid out in 2022. And they're trying to 
by 2026 mine this asteroid. And if they do, they said gold would be as common as your everyday rock outside in your backyard. But will they have that type of technology, you know, in four in, in four or five years? Highly unlikely, but they're trying because they see how serious the situation is. And if it's not space mining, would it be, you know, innovating mining technology to, to dig out of the Earth's crust? And how much silver is left in the Earth's crust? Or would they come after our silver? Gold confiscation is a real thing. I mean, the Executive Order 6102, um, th that was a real thing. FDR, I mean, you literally would have to pay $10,000 or spend 10 years in prison or both if you didn't turn in your gold. But this happened dozens of times throughout history and not just in the United States. I made an, an entire video covering that as well. Um, but regardless, they're going to have to get the silver from somewhere. And if they don't, we would be in an extremely dangerous situation. And think of all the protests and everything that would be going on if the Green New Deal doesn't follow through. Or the backlash Joe Biden would get for making this promise that isn't falling through. But also think what it would do to silver, silver prices. Right. There's a uh, producers turn into consumers, the consumers turn into producers. The people like you and I that want the silver will be selling it to the people that need the silver. We don't need it. We want it. They need it. They actually need it. So very it's a, it's a very weird situation to think of. But it's reality. I mean, th everyone thinks that. The Green New Deal would happen, and, and if you think about the future, you know, everything's solar panels and, and satellites and, and electric cars. I mean, when you see a sci-fi movie, you think of that stuff, right? Skyscrapers and flying vehicles, but would that be a reality knowing that we're already having a hard time finding 13 million ounces for the U.S. Mint to, to produce American Eagles? They had to have a limited mintage on the 2022 Eagles, or 2021 Eagles, Type 1 and Type 2, because they couldn't find enough silver blanks. And that's only 13 million ounces. We're talking about a billion ounces needed. So the reality is definitely more extreme, and I don't know if Joe Biden, I don't know if these people, Elon Musk, realize it. I'm sure Elon Musk does. He's a genius. He's talked about physical bullying or physical gold. And that's in that video that I made yesterday. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of theories and conspiracy that he's and he's hinted that he is buying physical silver, because not only Mike Maloney wrote a letter to him, David Morgan did as well, talking about the severity and how how that's the one thing he needs. If if Elon Musk needs to be buying anything right now, it would be silver more than anything else. So yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. It's it's GSX, Gold Secured Currency, and I'm showing this because I am doing a sweepstakes, and it's it's uh, I'm going to be passing out some silver soon. So if you guys want a chance um, to to get some free silver chips straight to your front doorstep, I'm also doing a 50,000 subscriber silver giveaway. So there's two opportunities to win some silver. Click subscribe. The entry video to my 50K giveaway is live, and if you want a chance to invest into a crypto back by physical gold, they dig the gold out of the ground themselves they have mining sites they post their geological reports um the links in the description i'm gonna show a little i'm gonna show a little segment right here that i put together because it, it explains everything deeper because this company is a revolutionary and they're doing a lot so check this out gsx gold secured currency it's a crypto backed by physical gold they mine the gold out of the ground themselves they have mining sites all over the world it's apollo fintech um, definitely revolutionary you can exchange the coins for physical gold um, it, it's just a really cool, uh, um, I guess, idea. The coins are four cents right now. The the coin hit the exchange four months ago, so it's really new. And they have a three-year roadmap on the site. And and what they're gonna do, which they've done everything, is going to be is gonna be tremendous and, and astronomical. And I can see that coin being worth a lot more than four cents. So. The link's in the description if you want to invest into that. Take a screenshot and send it to of your purchase and send it to Silver Slayer Media. And I'm going to be throwing some silver out to some of the people that, that did branch out and, and, and are taking different, you know, um, I guess, directions and paths. Because it is backed by physical gold, which still stands for this channel. And that's just something I think is really, really fascinating. I've been looking into them more and more and more. 
and it's just blowing my mind more. They just uploaded a mobile app called Gold Inc. where you can mine. It's like a game on your phone you can download right now. It's called Gold Inc. You can you can mine on there and actually earn physical gold because you get coins on there which you can exchange. You know, for, it's kind of like GSX. You can exchange for physical gold. It's just crazy. I mean, what they're doing is crazy. And I, I wrote a whole entire like like book in the description explaining more. It's just a long paragraph because they're doing so much and they've done so much. I can't explain it in, you know, in a one minute segment in my video. There's just way too much that they've done and that they're planning on doing. So, yeah, check it out. Links in the description. So send it to silverslayermedia at gmail.com and I'll put you in the possible people to win some silver. Just want to see you guys branch out. You don't have to invest into it. Um, you could stick to a physical silver, whatever you want. It's just something that I personally am interested in. And, you know, if you want to as well, then links in the description. So, yeah, when we're looking at something as speculative, as controversial, as serious, as detrimental as the situation with the silver shortage, with silver scarcity, with everyone that's making these promises that probably can't follow through, um, it's it's scary. And, and I want you to participate in this 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 topic this discussion because there are so many things that and besides just the green new deal they would be affected by this i mean not just evs not just solar panels but think about everything else iphones laptops i mean there's colloidal silver for the medical world silver nanoparticles Scientists discovered a way to make silver 40% stronger without losing any electrical conductivity. I mean, it's used in so many different things for, you know, it, it literally makes the world go round. And imagine a world without silver. It wouldn't be. I mean, we live in a new digital age where people are on their cell phones and, and mobile banking and everything, but that all requires silver. Gold, not so much. And that's why there aren't huge premiums on gold because gold isn't scarce. There's huge premiums on silver because silver is scarce. And that's another thing that I wanted to bring up, especially with people like Elon Musk. If he doesn't have a direct source to silver, imagine him having to pay premiums. Imagine him needing billions of dollars worth of silver and he has to pay $50 an ounce instead of 25 or imagine him having to pay $100 an ounce when spot price is $50, $60. Imagine that. That, that could kill someone's entire business. Cost of production could go out the window. Like Mike Maloney was saying, it's a pretty serious situation. He's a genius. Elon Musk is a genius. So it's not like he doesn't know about this. He's in the investing world. He's talked about crypto. He's talked about gold. He's talked about this stuff. In his filing, he said he will be exchanging fiat to physical gold. But he didn't mention silver. And there's probably a reason for that. But why, Silver Slayer? Why would he mention silver? Because he would shoot the price of silver through the roof and he would have to pay a higher price. Look what he did with Dogecoin. He typed four letters, D-O-G-E, which is Dogecoin. And Dogecoin right afterwards shot up thousands of percent. That's the type of, of pull that this guy has. So if people start figuring out that he's buying silver, it would shoot the price up. Hands down it would. And I, everyone, I mean, I covered six different articles in that video of people showing and proving and looking at old tweets and all that was filing that said, yes, he's definitely covering this up and he's investing into silver, whether it's the SLV or physical silver, because he did talk about gold, um, gold ETFs, which is a whole nother, a whole nother topic because he should not be investing into the, 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 the pay, you know, the, the digital side, he should be buying the physical metal. But regardless, it goes way deeper beyond Elon Musk. And that's the scary thing. I mean, when that guy said that the Green New Deal is a silly thought and it's not realistic, that hit me hard because we're all relying on that. I mean, we're all thinking that, yeah, that's that's going to be how life is. But what if and most likely now thinking about it realistically that that won't happen? And when people figure out why it won't happen because we don't have enough silver Imagine what that would do to the price. Just imagine. Things are going to get crazy, folks. 
But all I know is people who get in before the curve are going to be reaping the benefits instead of people that get in after the curve. When everyone's, by the time silver goes mainstream, it'll be too late. Just like Bitcoin. I was telling people to buy Bitcoin at $1,200 in 2016, 2017. Now Bitcoin's 60000 I was telling people to buy it at $1,200. There's old videos of me where I was on Coinbase. You can see the price of Bitcoin on, this, on the Coinbase screen, $1,200. I was talking about Bitcoin, telling you to buy Bitcoin, $1,200. Now it's $60,000. But when I was telling you about $1,200 Bitcoin, no, it was before the curve. Nobody, But now it's mainstream. Everyone and their mom knows about Bitcoin investing. It's too late. When most people are buying, you should be selling. When most people are selling, you should be buying. It's, just, it's, it's funny how that is, how that works, but it's the truth. Most people buy high, sell low, panic sell, when you should buy low, sell high. And there's a lot of psychological, um, I guess, the, it, it's, it's very, it, it has a lot to do with perspective. I mean, the psychological aspect of investing is huge. Um, but regardless, as investors, not gamblers, we have to make strategic decisions based off information. Gamblers throw money, hope it sticks, but the odds not in their favor. Investors try to force the odds in our favor because we look at the information, we look at how that affects our investment, and we look at moving forwards what that would do to our investment. We don't look at the price right now, we look at its potential. Just like with GSX, it's four cents right now. I'm not looking at the price right now. I'm looking at the potential, the roadmap, where it could go. Right? If you're investing into real estate, you don't look at that house's value right now. You look at if you could fix that house up or the property value. Are they building schools and shopping centers or are they tearing them down? You have to look ahead. And that's why silver makes the most sense because nothing else in the world, especially now thinking about the Green New Deal and all that stuff, nothing else makes as much sense as silver um, to, to rise in price, especially knowing where the dollar's headed. And you can't argue that. You can't debate that. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you thought this video was one, educational, two, informational, three, at least entertaining, make sure to hit that like uh, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss my 50,000 subscriber giveaway. If you want to check out GSX, Gold Secure Currency, links in the description. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Go check out my video I posted earlier today. You don't want to miss it. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.